when I saw this question, I kind of like thought I love my body. I love my body. Uh, no complaints. I have a pretty friendly relationship with my body. I like it. It's the only one I'll ever have, so I have uh, no choice but to like it. Yeah, I think I love my body, but it also took a lot of time. It's a complicated relationship for me. When I was younger, it, it was very... It was very bad, my conversation with my body. Part of dance education and a combination of very um, tight ass <laughs> perfectionist personality uh, led me before to periods of uh, not liking my body and even damaging it because of an attempt for it to look different. I used to judge myself as a dancer and I was like, shit, I'll never be able to be a ballet dancer. I think I used to relate in the past to my body as the dancer's body, which is actually, from my perspective, was um, my facilities, how much I can point, how much I can turn out, which is basically like how much I can bend uh, joints and lift and turn, like stuff like that. There is also the physical aspects of maybe how I move or my weaknesses or the parts that I feel is harder for me to get in touch with physically. Growing up as a woman and suddenly getting boobs in a boobless world <laughs> and understanding that this is uh, that this is what I have and now I need to deal with it because I basically have no choice. When I was in school people would tell me that my legs were too big then I had to like use my, my legs more from the inside and then I realized it was all bullshit like this is just the way my body is. As a male dancer, I never felt pressure to have my body look a certain way or work out to achieve a like, presentable dancer's body. I always found that how I move in my body is enough. I think we just have really clear ideas of like the ideal man's and woman's body. I came out of the closet, closet whatever, when I was 22. Um, and I've always been kind of like a, like a tomboy. Like I don't really um, necessarily connect only to my female sides, but also like I don't completely feel that I'm a boy or male. I identify as a man, but I'm really, I, I'm really inspired by like, that I, I have this ability to like uh, blur the line for myself between what feels masculine and what feels feminine. We all have both sides in the first place, you know, like the feminine, the feminine uh, energy and the masculine energy. And I think we all should embrace both sides more, I believe, because they both have very beautiful characteristics. The body is always changing and it's always with us and this is our tool. So the relationship with it, I feel that it's almost, I cannot separate it. It's like, uh, it's me. <laughs> and uh, it's always related to where I am also mentally and how I feel with myself inside. I have many uh, capabilities that I didn't have when I was younger and some of the capabilities I had when I was younger are gone and probably will be forever. I don't think that limited body can limit your mind. Enjoying my possibilities uh, versus what I don't have. I, I stopped analyzing things as a dancer but more of as a human and as a human I think my body is pretty hot. I mean, look at that! <laughs> it's doing so much for me and so much that I don't know even what it's doing. Uh, but it's, it's for me. <laughs> Grateful for this, like, container and this thing and, like, you know, yeah.